Hello, welcome. So in previous video, I have created integration to update the data into ATP table, right? So, but if while updating, we uh, like we are facing one issue. Suppose we have some scenario in which scenarios we require if the data which we want to update is not available in the table, that same record should be inserted in the table. So in this case, Oracle ATP operation provide one new operation that is update or insert that is merge operation. So using that merge operation, we can perform this action. So suppose for example, in previous video, we have seen that if you have not watched that video, go and watch that video. So here you can see that suppose we have ID as 1006 and we want to update the class and session for this ID. But if you will see that ID is not available in our table. So that ID is not available in our table. So what happening is that they are not going to do anything. But our requirement is that if that ID 1006 is not available in this table, the record which want to update the same record should be inserted into the table. So in this case, we will use that operation. Okay. So here we will go and we will create a new integration. Okay. For same. So go and here I will give the name insert or update into ATP table 01 okay now click on next so app driven integration is created I have to add them end point so before going to end I will change the layout to horizontal because I have not like that vertical so first I will add that rest adapter so can I can configure request and response payload so here I will give the name to that start rest here I will select update or insert and I will select post because I want to configure request and response payload. Go to next. So in request payload, right, I will select JSON format. And here, if you will see in request payload, I want to give all these details. If this record is available in the table, they will update all these values. If not available, they will create the table. Okay. Create the, the record in the table. So here, I will provide the sample. Okay. Next, for response. I have already created so for response we will use created or updated successfully created or updated okay so here I will go and I will give the value okay so remember this is not the value which will be return this is only for example for demo purpose right so here we will map while returning the value we will map the value okay this is only for sample data okay next done so our endpoint is configured this is the request endpoint and using this mapper we will re return back or we will return the response of this integration so first i will remove the error related to tracing variables so i will give the name interesting variables save and close done now we have to add the atp table endpoint so here we have atp database so atp adapter i will use and remember one thing right here I will use update insert or update ATP okay so here we have to select one operation so I will select perform an operation I will create video for run a SQL statement uh, create video for invoke a SQL procedure and all so here suppose selected and here I will use insert or update query so here I will use insert okay go to next and remember while you will use you when you are going to use insert or update and in which table you are going to select so right now i am going to select one table okay let me show you the table okay so here this is my table okay and remember this table should have one primary key at least right so if you don't have primary key it will generate error so here right now you can see that earlier i don't have primary key in this table i have just created the table but now I have altered the table and added the primary key for that ID. Okay. So remember while when you are going to use that update or insert command or that is merge operation, you should have primary key in that table in this table. So go next. I don't want to do any filter here. Done. So our endpoint ATP endpoint is added. Now I have to map this ATP endpoint so that it can update or create the value. So here I will go to the map to insert update and here I will map. So in request, I have also configured the value, right? I have configured the PID name class session and here from ATP table, we have all these things. So I will map this ID with ID. 
नेम विथ नेम क्लास विथ क्लास एंड सेशन विथ सेशन सो इफ फर्स्ट वट दे विल डू दे विल चेक दिस पी आई डी इज एवेलेबल इन दिस टेबल और नॉट सो इफ द पी आई डी इज एवेलेबल दे विल अपडेट ऑल दिस थ्री वैल्यूज इन द टेबल इफ नॉट एवेलेबल दे विल इंसर्ट ऑल दिस फोर वैल्यू इन टू द टेबल सो जस्ट गो वैलिडेट एंड क्लोज सो आवर एंड पॉइंट इज कॉन्फिगर नाउ आई हैव टू कॉन्फिगर द रिस्पॉन्स पेल रिस्पॉन्स एंड पॉइंट ओके सो हेयर इन रिस्पॉन्स इफ यू विल सी वी हैव एडेड टू कॉलम्स वाइल रिस्पॉन्स सो दिस स्टेटस प्रोसेस स्टेटस एंड प्रोसेस मैसेज सो आई विल यूज सेम वैल्यूज इन प्रोसेस मैसेज यू कैन सी द राइट नाउ दिस वैल्यू इज इम्पटी राइट बिकॉज दैट अर्लियर वी हैव गिवेन द रिस्पॉन्स पेलो दैट वॉज ओनली फॉर सिंपल पर्पज ओके सो इन स्टेटस आई वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न एस यू डबल सी सक्सेस ओके एंड हेयर इन प्रोसेस मैसेज आई वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न द वैल्यू दैट आई हैव कॉपीड ओके सो दिस वैल्यू सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड और अपडेटेड सो जस्ट ठीक है सो वैलिडेट एंड क्लोज या गाइज इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डॉन्ट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट on this video and make sure you have liked that video so now i will save and close so our integration is configured and ready for activate so i will go and i will activate this integration by enabling the payload so enable tracing and include payload give us facilities so that i can get and i can check the trace passes okay i can take the check the log messages and all so sometimes it takes time to activate the integration so now our integration activated i will go for run the integration so here you can see that in body we have assigned this value so suppose right now i will use 1001 this value is already available in the table and for this 1001 what i want to do is that i want to change the student name okay so here now name is that student 01 i want to change the name to ar1 around so for okay and the be class class i want to make the same okay and now if you will see session also i want to make same okay i don't want to do any changes so just go and click on this test so you can see that if we have tested we got the response success and successfully created because we don't get any error and let's check the table so right now you can say this is our table just been here and now again check the table so you can see that for data 1001 for id 101 name is changed to aaron zafar okay and let's check for 1003 okay so right now 1003 we have name as student 3 and class is btech so let me change the class so here if you will see for 003 we will change the class to what is our class current class btech so let make as bca and name don't want to change the name okay so name should be same and session session also i want to make a same okay now click on test so you can see that for student 3 we have bca now let me check so yeah for student 3 we have bca now okay so we don't have suppose we don't have 1005 in the table so let me give the 1005 as a request and yeah let me save so what will happen if you will click on test the so same data will be inserted into the table earlier it was not happen in the case of update operation so here if you will run this query you can see that 1005 is available here if we will select 1006 and 106 is also not available in the table so you can see that the same value is inserted into the table 1006 so friends this is the difference between the update or insert or update operation so thank you so much for watching if you have watched this video completely don't forget to subscribe it will give us pleasure to make such kind of videos again and again thank you so much for joining